Good morning, guys. This is crazy. I found this on YouTube last night. So this is the Marlton Diner. And uh, the person that originally told me about this, I do want to go over a few things. All those tires that are back there um, had nothing to do with this building. Pet Boys is right next door and has always been. This is the back of the building. Um, the second thing is, uh, it was never a Denny's. Um, he thought, I, I believe because of that, that it might have been a Denny's at one time. It was never a Denny's. Marlton Diner, the history of it, which I lived through, um, was built to compete with Olga's Diner. Very famous. Everyone should know Olga's Diner, which was left abandoned. That is so weird. Oh, it's a mom. Which was left abandoned for quite a long time. Years and years and years, because it was the most famous, uh, one of the most famous landmarks, diners, uh, it said the Marlton Circle, which is also, rest in peace, um, but for those of us that lived here in the 90s, these are not things that you forget, so... This is really sad. I can't believe I just climbed through all this nastiness to get here, but I just found a sign in the trash. So apparently when COVID came, Marlton Diner suffered um, along with everyone else to the point that I guess they couldn't make a comeback, which is really a shame because I've been here more times I could count and I do have pictures of the inside um, from when it was open and I ate here. They had a very unique um, candy aisle where you could buy candy. They had a, was it a cash, cash register? One of those old ones from like God knows when. So yeah, I have pictures of all of that. And um, I'm probably going to have to do, I don't have the capability to do it any other way, but I'm probably going to do a separate video. I'll link them to this. This is where I would go in and out. There's two entrances. Um, don't ever smoke cigarettes, but when I was younger I did, and this is where we would smoke our cigarettes when they uh, changed the law in New Jersey and you were no longer allowed to smoke inside diners. Which we all did in Olga's. So, alright, anyway, so Olga's ended up shutting down when this was built, pretty much. This took all of Olga's, um, customers and don't really know how intentional it all was or whatever, but, um, it did. Look at that. Beautiful. So I will say that the diner is complete exactly how it's always been. The only difference is this ugly gate that they put up. Um, I was shocked to see this in the video last night and that's why I drove here right away this morning. Um, this was the other entrance and also the entrance for um, handicap wheelchair. It had steps and a long walkway as you can see. I can't see what I'm filming so I'm hoping that I'm getting the best shots. All right, I put you guys behind the fence. As you can see, it was 24 hour. So Olga's went out of business. This one took on, took up like crazy. It was either this or you go to like Medport in Medford. I I'm still in shock. I'm, I'm actually kind of upset while filming this. Um because they said once COVID was over, they were gonna be going back to their regular hours and there's just been too many times that I've come here. So I'm not gonna go in and uh, or try to do anything funny. I just wanted to give you guys an idea and history of this diner. Cause it was quite the famous diner at its time. Um, and like I said, it I mean, it replaced all because it was insane. So now, apparently, somebody else built a new Olga's 
it's not the same it's not in the same location or anything um, I will add the description um, or the link to the fitters but as you can see it's on the main road next to a pet boys this is actually route 70 one of the busiest roads in Marlton and its sign still stands along with the entrance and exit all right guys thanks for watching this one um very sad one and uh check out i don't know how i'm gonna get these photos in here but check them out they are um pretty cool they're of the candy thing the register stuff like that oh they had a duck game in here too that's right and i have a whole bunch of the um ducks from it i won them and they had stuffed animal game machines that i also won a bunch you'd walk in and that very first little silver thing was a room and um that's where they had all the games duck and stuffed animals and then you walk in further and the uh Hostess was on the right, where the cashier was, and then uh, you could be seated um, right or left sides, mostly left sides, and uh, that's where the bathrooms were and everything. So, I don't know. Any questions, let me know. I know everything about this thing. Thanks for watching. I will hopefully get you the pictures. Feel free to give me a thumbs up.